How do we study woodpecker pecking? Well, it turns out that a group of neurologists who are interested in human brain injury were also interested in this question of woodpeckers and how they avoided brain injury. And they realized that if they took high-speed video, they could measure the position of the woodpecker's head and its beak as it started to peck and as it hit the tree. And with the position at different time points from the video footage, they could then calculate the speed at which the beak was traveling and also the deceleration when the beak hit the tree. But one difficulty is how do you actually set this up? The neurologists were in California and they had heard about a park ranger in Placerita Canyon State Park who had an acorn woodpecker that was injured and couldn't fly. And the park ranger had really the key to this whole experiment. Uh, the neurologists who did this were doing so in the 1970s and they actually used film. So they had to be able to start the filming at the moment that the woodpecker started pecking. The park ranger had a typewriter in his office. And when the ranger typed on the typewriter, the acorn woodpecker would peck in response to that. So perhaps the woodpecker thought there was another acorn woodpecker around and it was pecking in response. And who knows what exactly the acorn woodpecker thought. But in any event, it would peck in response to the typewriter keys being struck. So the neurologists set their equipment up. They had a, an old dead tree stump and they could get the woodpecker to peck at a certain spot on the trunk. And then they would also type on the typewriter and this would get the woodpecker to start pecking. And what they found was truly remarkable. They found that the decelerations on impact were between about 600 G and 1500 G. And if you recall, we said that human brain injury occurs at about 100 G. So the woodpeckers are pecking over and over again at much, much higher decelerations than a human brain could withstand without injury. They also found that the woodpecker hit the tree at a speed of about 15 miles an hour. And that's something like the speed that I ride my bicycle. And if I rode my bicycle into a tree at 15 miles an hour, I would certainly know about it. The other thing they found was that the duration of the impact was relatively short. It was between about a half a millisecond and one millisecond. So from these high-speed videos, the neurologists were able to get some good data on the woodpecker pecking. And we're going to use this data to estimate the forces acting on the woodpecker brain.